Hey everyone, before we get into this video, I want to let you know we are giving away a copy of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, in order to get that copy, you need to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. And if you do this on videos uh, from yesterday and the day before, and moving forward all the way through the 18th, you can get multiple entries. Uh, the winner will be chosen on the 19th with an announcement video. It's a random selection based on your comments, likes, and subscriptions. So yeah, good luck, and let's get into the video. So it's no secret that I am not necessarily the greatest player of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, in fact, I would argue I'm not even the biggest fighting game fan. I don't really enjoy fighting games that much. Uh, Super Smash Bros. seems to be the one game that I have an, a little bit of a affinity towards, though, mostly just because of the included characters. And when they announced in the DLC pack uh, that we would get Banjo and Kazooie, my heart literally skipped a beat because Banjo and Kazooie is a big part of my childhood back on the Nintendo 64, later on the original Xbox. So I kind of got a little tickled uh, in January when they announced there would be a second DLC pack and then it would feature six fighters like six more fighters added to this already 80 plus character massive game <laughs> alrighty then let's go uh, so, as those DLC characters will be coming out over the next year or so, I wanted to give my take on what I want those six characters to be. Now, you don't have to agree with me. We all have our wants and our desires for characters, characters that have various importance in the game industry, importance to our personal lives, all of that. So, by no means is this list meant to be some definitive, these are the ultimate characters to include in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Uh, but they are six characters I want to see included in this next DLC pack because I want them in there. Let's just leave it at that. I'll give my reasons once I get to it. So let's get to the six characters, really in no particular order, that I want to see in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The first character, I have to get this out of the way. If I mention Banjo-Kazooie, I don't know how you can mention that without mentioning Rare's other massive game, in my opinion, on the N64, and Conker's Bad Fur Day. That's right, I want to see Conker enter into the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate fray. Honestly, it's one of my favorite characters in all of gaming, and the game itself became a huge cult classic hit uh, just just for being obscure and different than the games we got at the time. Plus, it was M-rated and published by Nintendo, so there is that. Uh, dating back to the N64, uh, if Banjo-Kazooie can get a shot, then why not this fiery drunk squirrel? Uh, he could literally piss on his enemies uh, if Nintendo would allow that to happen. So, honestly, uh, I just really love this character, and I really want to see it included in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, the next character, uh, I'm going to be going with what I think is a no-brainer at this point in Crash Bandicoot. He is an iconic figure in the gaming world, and there is even less excuse not to include him with the collection and racing game now both being on Switch. I'm sure Activision wouldn't have any issues with this either, uh, giving permission and all that, because it is a third-party character. Uh, PlayStation All-Star inclusions really shouldn't matter at this point. That game failed and wasn't a success. And again, it's fully owned by Activision, so they can give the permission to anyone they want. That's why we've gotten you know, the, the collection and gotten the racing game on Switch in the first place. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see Crash Bandicoot and Smash. I mean, I think it's about time to bring over the former PlayStation mascot. Next up, I'm just throwing this out there, mostly because it's a fan favorite, not because I have any affinity towards the character, but I realize this character is important in gaming, and that is Sora. Now, rumor does have it that Disney of Japan did shut this down, and Nintendo wanted to include Sora, and so did Square Enix, uh, but I really don't care. Sora is an iconic character and part of major a part of a major video game series from Square Enix in Kingdom Hearts you know to put him in a game I don't really even play Kingdom Hearts games I said not really you know a, a character that matters much to me uh, but I recognize that he's very important in the video game world and honestly just get him in the damn game already uh, I don't know like figure out the copyright issues and, and, and get it done next up this is one where I might be the only person in the world that has this character on my list, but I'm talking about the one and only Mr. Tingle. Yes, Kulu Limpa away. I may not be a fan favorite outside of Japan, but the map maker extraordinaire from the Zelda series deserves a nod just as much as Piranha Plant did before it. Besides, he actually did get his own spin-off game series for those wondering what exactly would his moves be. After all, just go play you know, Rosie Ruby Land and find out. 
Plus, this gives an excuse to include the Uncle Rupee as a stage boss. And if you know anything about the Tingle games, you will know why that would be a really cool idea. Uh, so yeah, that just needs to happen. Tingle is basically a video game version of myself. So he's got to get in, right? Next up, this one is more obvious and I think maybe even a given, if not for this game, the next Smash game. And that is Springman slash Ribbon Girl from ARMS. Did you even know Nintendo had another active fighting game? They're, these are like the mascot characters of that game. They were on the box art. It did sell over 2 million copies on Switch, so I would consider that a success, especially in the fighting game realm. Um, if Inkling can get in from Splatoon, I don't know why these two can't get in, especially as uh, swappable characters and extra DLC uh, with the same movesets. Besides, ARMS 2 is probably going to be a thing someday, so it would make sense to maybe pub up ARMS a little bit by including you know, fighters from their other fighting game in Smash. Next up, and this is the last character, and bear with me on this one. It's a it, it's a weird inclusion. It may not make sense. You know, you guys might be thinking of a billion other characters. Heck, even Earthworm Jim, if you want to toss him out there. But no, I am arguing to include SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> it's not a joke. I know, I know. It sounds like a joke, but I'm not kidding. I want to see SpongeBob SquarePants in Smash. Seriously, just hear me out on it. Not only would this make my fiance's wet dreams come true with delight, as she is a self-proclaimed biggest SpongeBob SquarePants fan in the world, uh, there are actually quite a lot of SpongeBob games on Nintendo platforms. And no, not all of them are actually terrible. Some are quite good. Um, he's iconic across multiple mediums, and Battle for Bikini Bottom is still an instant cult hit from back in the day. And yeah, some will argue for Dante, or even Goku if you want to go with a character that crosses mediums. Maybe even Steve from Minecraft. I mean, again, another popular game on all platforms. But none of them are really as big as Spongebob. Oh, and get this, other Spongebob games are good too. Remember the one on PlayStation 2 and GameCube based on the Spongebob movie? It's got a cool 75 on Metacritic. Not too bad. So, I don't know. I think SpongeBob would be a very interesting inclusion. I think he fit right in with the cast of characters. He's kooky enough. His Final Smash can include Patrick and Sandy and all his friends. Mr. Maybe Mr. Krabs or something. So, I don't know. I know that it's the least likely of all the ones I listed to, to make it into Smash. Uh, but, again, this is my list, not yours. Um, so, look, you can't go wrong in dreaming up um, Smash characters. We all have our wants and our desires. Um, if you hate my list, you know, that's, no, that's fine. If you love my list, cool, but it's my list all the same. So at this point, I really just want to know what's your list for Super Smash Bros. If you had to pick the next six DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, who would you include? And don't just like give me a list. Tell me why you want them included, whether they're important to gaming, important to you. Uh, maybe it's a favorite memory you have of that character as obscure or as popular as that character might be. I want to hear about it. I want to see it. I want you to tell me down in the comments below. Just remember that no list is wrong. No list is right. These are personal desires. So again, to recap my list, um, just glancing at it here, I got it over here on the computer. I got Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day. I got Crash Bandicoot from the Crash series. Um, I got Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we're talking Tingle from the Legend of Zelda series, or if you prefer, from his own line of games, the Tingle games. He's got a trilogy out there. Uh, Springman and Ribbing Girl from Arms, and SpongeBob SquarePants from well, SpongeBob. It, the game's named after him, movie, series, all that stuff. So, yeah, uh, again, my list, I want to hear your list. Um, and, you know, is where, where, also, let's just throw this out there. Where does Super Smash Bros. Ultimate rank among your other Smash games, you know, compared to Smash 64 or, you know, Smash on uh, GameCube, I think, Melee, uh, compared to Brawl, etc., you know, the... The, the 3DS Wii U game. Like, where does this compare? I hate the name of it, but Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. Can we agree that that's like a lame naming convention for Smash? Uh, but let me know where this ranks in your world of Smash Bros. Uh, and, yeah, I guess that's all I got for you today. So drop a like, uh, subscribe, leave a comment. Doing all that will enter you into our Animal Crossing New Horizons giveaway. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will catch each and every single one of you guys in the next video.